Good evening once again back at the Onyx video recording studio. Once again, I have to tell you that Shamel is not here. Hopefully, he will be here next time. I know I said that last time, but he's not here. So you have to put up with me again, whether you like me or not. Anyway, I'm going to try and um, give you something else today. Um, I've got again Rakim and he's going to be talking somewhat about knife crime which is a thing that's just getting on everybody's <coughs> nerves at the present moment it's just you know it's just everywhere everywhere every time you hear somebody says you know I won't do that I won't get into that but it's there anyway Rakim yes sir I'm going to give it to you you could talk about a little bit about um, knife crime, read a bit of poetry about knife crime, which mm. I remember from the last session we had, yes. you finished off with a poem about knife crime, yes. you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, actually there's one thing I want to do, and I want to read a poem where I think knife crime kind of starts from. Okay. From my book, yeah, my yeah, latest yeah, yeah. book. Okay, okay. And okay. Uh, I'm going to read that and then yeah. we'll just go into that. Oh, we're going and, to and I'll, I'm not going to be too long. Yeah, yeah, here, yeah take your time. Here, take your time. My glasses okay. on. I know I don't look too good with it, but you know. Here we go. It's called The Drug Father. Hmm. Says he will help you if you do something for him. Says deliver this package for me. Then he gives you a grin. Says he'll buy you trainers, tracksuits and stuff. Please tell him no, don't call his bluff. He's done this to others before. He seems to know his game. He won't leave the youngsters alone. This is such a shame. He has a crew of enforcers who'll keep their eye on you. They'll make sure you do the deed. If you don't, they will send in the crew. Yes, he's got flashy wheels and a Rolex on his wrist. The trousers that he wears are sagging and ripped. He's a drug father, a man of the streets. If he doesn't get his way, he'll make you weep. Tell the kids to be aware and to take care. These predators are evil and they don't fear. If they can't get you, they'll get your family. This is their evil mentality. Now, that's from my latest book, Herbie yeah. writes again, which you can get on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, as I said before. And um, Rakim now is going to talk a little bit about knife crime, and I uh, think he might have a poem or two in his book as well yes. about it. So, yes. What okay. do you, what's your view on it? Yeah. Um, so, and uh, hi everyone. You know, good to be back. Thank you for inviting me again. Love More than welcome. Day. More than welcome. Yeah, Onyx, Onyx is running it. Well done, Onyx. Yeah. And then this is a topic that is really um, to my heart, anyway. Yeah. Like, really serious topic. Um, yeah. So, knife crime is is destroying our community. You know? In America, they have a problem with gun crime. Yeah. But uh, over here. We have a problem with knife crime. We have guns as well, mm -hmm. but guns is a problem because there's people who are being killed by guns. But the most crime is being done with knives Definitely, because, yeah. the, because to be honest, people are like um, uh, just going to their mum's kitchen, taking a knife, mm -hmm. and then carrying that. Yeah. So then you know you don't even need money to be able to like, have a knife. They even getting more ferocious by buying bigger ones yeah, yeah, online. Yeah, yeah I know, and that. That, that's uh, a lot of them are coming from China, mm -hmm. where like China are making like they're going like, like kind of hip hop knives, yeah, some big massive daggers. So you see some youths carrying knives that's even bigger than them, yeah. You know, you're thinking like, you know, what's going on in yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. You know, and it, this is a, a a problem. Let me give you a few statistics as well, just to break it down a little bit. So so we know the problem. For March 2022, there was 45,000 crimes involving a sharp weapon. Mm -hmm. 45,000 wow. in the year March 2022. Okay, 9% um, higher than 2021. Or also in the year March 2022, there were 261 homicides. Wow. So you can see that, you know, people, uh, people are being killed, young people are getting killed. And the largest percentage of that is young people. Yeah. You yeah. know, and it's, it's like from the age of like 12, you know, up to about 20. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of 
uh, that age group. And they say that some people, they say that like, um, that there's a famous saying that says that there's a madness in the youth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but recently there was, there was one scholar talking about that and he said something so interesting. He said, what it is, is that um, because when you're young, your life experience is not that much. Yeah. You don't know too much. So you can't really, you don't think like deeper about like the consequences of what you're doing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You know? Yeah. But to give you an example, one of my jobs before is uh, I worked like as a learning mentor. It's one of my first okay, jobs. Yeah. I worked in a school down in Camden. Okay. And so what I was working with, I was working with young people that is close to permanent exclusion. Yeah, yeah. But some of them were what, what these young people do they call mm -hmm. active. Yeah. Some of them were active, they're, they're, they're on road, mm -hmm. they're in gangs. Yeah. And so, uh, I thought of a, a plan, what I could do with them. Yeah, so what I arranged, I arranged to take them to like, a, a man's prison, Pentonville. Probably. Okay, yeah. At yeah. that time, it's, it's, you know, it's a proper prison. So I bought them little youths, then we went to the prison. Mm -hmm. And I got them to speak to like, you Inmates. know, hardened criminals. Some that are doing like 10, 20, 30 years. Yeah. Know, proper criminals there. And um, it was interesting talking to them because like, uh, I remember one guy was talking to me, asking him, you know, what happened to you? And he's saying, nah, it's long, it's long, blood, it's long. I said, no, we got time, we got time. Yeah. I brought the young people because I wanted <laughs> to learn from you. That's right, yeah. And he's like, no. He said, like, uh, basically, he was a career criminal. Mm. First of all, he didn't do well in school. Mm. And I always tell them this. Uh, he didn't do well in school. Uh, he kept getting kicked out of the class. Yeah. He kept getting excluded. Uh -huh. The next thing, he was kicked out, he's on road. Mm. And now, uh, even in your poem there, what you're talking about there is called grooming. Yes. Yeah, and there's two type of grooming because like before the focus was on uh, the focus was on like a sexual grooming. Yes, where yes. they're taking you know children and uh, mm -hmm. abusing them. Yeah. Okay, but now the big grooming is gang grooming. Yeah, where they're getting young people and they're catching them. Like for example, even you could go outside like a chicken shop mm -hmm. and then they see some um, young boys that like you know mums are at home. They're hungry. Mm -hmm. They're always hanging out and they just like yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you saying, little man? What, what, you know, what you need? What you need? Come, come. What you need? Just come, come. Order what you want. Order what you want. Yeah, I'll and cover it. Yeah. I'll cover it. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Don't worry, little man. Don't worry. Yeah. And then that, like, but slowly, slowly, they're just pulling you in slowly. And before you know it, you're in deep. Mm. This is kind of. And like, can't get out. And you can't get out. Yeah. And this is like a lot of the, the problems. Um, what's happening? And now, even I don't know. I hear what you're saying. I like encourage them to do songs, but you know, you can say to um, a, a young man, you know, yes, I want you to do a song about um, anything, you know, about yeah. football or anything, you know. But um, and don't don't do. It. But he's competing when he's um yeah. when he's doing this drill, yeah. he's competing, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. surely there's there's further. We need to go further back. Mm. And, and do something mm. so that he's not, he hasn't got the access to be chatting about a group of people down the road mm. or um, someone else in Wood Green mm. or something. You know, we need to. Yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying. And there's a big problem that we have. The big problem that we've got is that, like, everybody is like, um, uh, like stuck in the, the, the materialism. Mm. So it, yeah. So in Islam they've got this term it's called like dunya. Yeah. But everybody is involved in the materialism. Yeah. Okay. And so the problem is now everybody uh they feel like you get respect by yeah. having a big car. Mm, mm. You get respect by wearing expensive trainers. Trainers, trainers all one thousand five hundred pounds. Mm. You get respect by all of your like you get boys that they live it in the council flat with their mum and they're wearing a Rolex watch oh, and you're like, but why? Yeah, totally. Why are you wearing a Rolex watch yeah, for? Yeah. Yeah? It would be better if you save that money mm -hmm. and you invest in it in some land somewhere. Mm -hmm. Invest it in some property. Mm -hmm. Do something instead of... But then when you look at the whole scene, even like all that the rap in America as well, what do they do when they make their money? They put it all in their mouth. Yeah, they yeah. put it all in it. Well, you, it doesn't make no sense. Well, you know as well as I do that. You tell one of those young boys now, about investment, you know, they, they don't want to hear that. They're not seeing yes, that, you know. Yes, they, they're yes. not looking at it that way, you know. I mean, it did take a while for me and I don't know about you to, to really realize about, um, you know, investing or, or something like that, unless your parents pumped it into you from an mm. early, early age, you know. Um, I just think if you could get them to start. 
doing using their talents mm. in different ways you know because yeah, you know, it, it, what am I trying to say? It's uh, it really gets to me mm. because I see them and they they they're so talented. Mm. And if they could put it in books, if you could do rhymes or mm. you don't even have to rhyme, you know, you could put it in writing books. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, and yeah. it doesn't have to be about killing or anything. You've got the brain, mm. you know. And if we could do a little workshop to show them, yeah, to show them if we, if we had the youth centres, mm. you know, which as you say. A lot of them was closed down, yeah. taken away from us. So if they had that, and we could have corners in there to show people how to do this and how to even publish things, mm. all this stabbing and thing, you know, it wouldn't really be available. It wouldn't be around. Yeah. And you know? you know, another problem that we have is that, like, because young people all around them, they see the people that get respect is the ones that got money. Yeah. The people yeah. that got the big car. Mm, mm. The people that got all of the ice that mm. got the money. They're not thinking they're, they're there they, to they, work they, for it. And then after, but they're thinking like, even when, when you talk to them about work, like mm. I speak to some young people and they're saying, but do you know something? What you're telling me, mm. yeah, I, I could just be on road for a few hours and yeah, I make all yeah, of that. Yeah, and you're, yeah, you're telling me that I must work for one month for yeah, this. I've heard that. And on yeah. road now, I just stay here for a few hours mm. and I made more than what you're going to make for mm. a whole week. And so they're, so they're saying that life is is the life for them. But the only yeah. only thing is though, for their ending. Yeah. yeah. There's only two endings. Yeah. It's quick Prison. money. It's quick money. Exactly. And as you say, what about the ending? What about the ending? Yeah. Just two. Yeah. But only two. Either prison or you're dead. Yeah. And that's what's happening. We get a lot of young people that they're getting killed at a young age. Mm. And so we're losing a generation. Mm. Because knife crime has never ever been at this level. Mm. When we was growing up, the worst thing that can happen to you, yeah? The worst thing mm. is that a man will cut you like this. Mm -hmm. But if a man cuts you like this, you have a big scar. Mm. I said, boy, look at that boy. Look at him, man. They're dead to him. Mm. Look at his face. Mash up his face. Now, mm. they will finish you until you all leave you all bloody yeah. dead on, 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 on nothing. And I have no, no fear for that. And also, another thing that's happening is that you, we're getting lots of these young boys that they, they witness trauma. They witness mm. immense violence. Yeah. And the, yeah. They don't go and get counselling. Yeah. They don't go and get any support. Yeah. What they do, they self-medicate. Yeah. How do you self-medicate? You just take and smoking lots of weed, smoking lots of drugs, mm. drinking lot of alcohol, to try to forget about what you've seen. What they see, yeah. But they have to live with those traumas. Uh -huh. And the only type of people that you see um, who have seen this type of trauma is that like those people that go to war. Yeah. And a lot of the people that come to they but come back from a lot of trauma. The people that goes to war, they get special treatment. They get special treatment. You know. Yes. For for their trauma. You know, so so this trauma that these young people are getting, they're just carrying on, carrying on, and then they'll probably even carry a bigger knife just to say, well, I'm protecting myself. Yes. You know. Yes. Uh, it, it's um. It's like a never um, ending, ending circle. cycle. Yeah. But like, okay, so you asked the question earlier, like, what can we do? Mm. But like, uh, first of all, I mean, it starts off with education. Mm. You know, if they go to school, if they go to school, but uh, even if they don't go to school, if, they, if we have a chance to sit down with people and reason mm. with them. It's, it's time because you know uh, there's been a, a break between the elders yeah. and the youth. That's right. There's, yeah. there's been a there's been a break. Yeah. Before we used to have conversations with the elders. Mm -hmm. Now the youth are just doing their own thing, yeah. and they don't even got respect for yeah. the elders. Well, you half you the know, time. one thing before I, it kind of goes at my head is that you know you you hear um, you or you, you look in the paper, you see a, a youth. Um, I got stabbed, mm. yeah, and then you see his mum, his dad on the telly, crying, and mm. and they're saying, um, but he wasn't like that. He wasn't in yeah. no gang, you know. Mm -hmm. Little do they know, you know. There's a load of looking innocent looking youth out there who their parents just don't know, mm -hmm. you know. They mm -hmm. just don't know, and and some of them their behaviour in school um, would tell you, you know. And even in school, if the parents get called up mm -hmm. to um to to into a meeting about their, their kid, the parents will say, no, but he's not like that at home. Yeah. You know, on the street. Hmm. It's, it's a, a different, different, different story. And okay, some advice for parents. First of all, like talk to your children, educate your children. Even if you're not educated, educate yourself. Yeah. You know, read, and even if you're someone you don't like reading, what you should do, like go on YouTube and start learning about your history, your heritage, yeah, yeah. and then start, you know, teaching your children, sitting them down, talk to them. Also, as a parent, no parent should have a child and they don't know where their child is. Yeah. 
Yeah. If your child isn't going to, if your child's going to play football, then they're coming back. If your child is going to a certain project, mm. coming back. But if your child is just hanging out, no, no, that's a no go. But you know not, what? Not you, you, free. You, know you cannot have your child, and you don't know where your child is. You know what the child says, "Mom, you're treating me like a kid." You are a kid. You are a kid. But they don't see it that way because they're growing up too fast. You see? Yeah. Yes. It's very, very dangerous. They need to make sure that the. The parents, yeah. they know where their children are, yeah. e and also educate your children so that they're not hanging out on, on these streets. Mm. It's very, very important. That's one thing. And then think about like how also some there's a lot of um, like maybe mothers or one parent families. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, the, even that, look in your family like for some role models. Mm -hmm. Maybe you got uncle mm -hmm. who's a good role model. Mm -hmm. Maybe you got like a grandfather yeah. who's a good role model. Bring that into mm -hmm. the child's life. I know you mentioned men there, but you have strong aunties and but grandmothers as well too. No, yeah. no, no, no. The yeah. aunties, the, the women, they're already there. Yeah, yeah. I That's know. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying the saying women is already there. Some of them is strong still and they're stronger strong, than the, yes, the, yes. the men. But yeah. no, but the women, they're already there. It's the, 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 but there's an absence of, of, mm. of fathers. Yeah. Because what I'm just certain role models as well, they, when they're looking for role models yeah. and they don't see it in their house. Yeah. There's a thinking, okay, I can't see the role model there. Let me go, let me go on road. I oh, hear that. I, I, I like um, uh, Jay Kwan, Jay yeah, Kwan, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I respect, he's my blood. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, and they, me and you, I die for you, yeah, blood. Yeah, you get yeah, me? Yeah. I die for you, die for me. Yeah, <laughs> blood. I love, I love uh, you, uh, blood. Uh, 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 it's, yeah, it's that, yeah, it's that, that's so thing. true. So this, this is my family now, man. Yeah, yeah, you see, yeah. these, these, see these boys here? Mm. This is my family. Mm. So this true. is how these young yeah. people are going on. Yeah. So we, we need to support them, listen to them. Yeah. And that's another thing as well. Listen. Yeah. Because you see how God he give us two ears. Yeah. And he give us one mouth. Yeah. You know why? So we can be quiet. Yeah. Listen to them. Because their experience stereo, isn't it? Is not like our experience. Yeah. It's true. Where are we where are we gonna go? We don't know. But um something's gotta be done. There's one thing we're sure. You, you haven't got a, another poem in your book about... Oh, yes, um, yes. Oh, okay. I've got another poem. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I can remember this one. This is the first one I did about knife crime. Yes. What you looking at, blood? He said to me so angrily, so viciously. I looked too deep into his eyes and said, This boy, he's half my age. I can be his father and him my son. Many thoughts ran through my mind. Why is this boy so angry? Why is he filled with so much hate? Doesn't he know by hating me, he's hating part of himself. I'm sick and tired of all the violence in the raps, all the talk about the straps, busting caps on the chaps. I'm sick and tired of all the postcode wars, fighting over concrete. The government owns those streets, they're not yours. I'm sick and tired of all the gangster culture, fast money, fast women, fast cars. It's all material wealth. You think you're a big man because you're rolling with the Lex, blacked out window, private number plates. But how much man did you kill for that number plate? And how much skin did you pierce and shank and penetrate? Peddling poison produces mass murderers, get rich schemes, many young boys fiends, but many men die on the fast lane. You think you're on top, it's time to get dropped. You think you're on top, it's time to get stopped. You think you're on top, it's time to get popped. So you're banged up, slammed up, under key and lock, banged up for life. No time to spend it with your girl or your wife. Those streets hurt. Leave you with a bloody shirt. Every day on road, another you is getting murk. So let's put down the shank and deal with peace and unity. That is fantastic. <laughs> Again, another one, another one. And that is, that, is, is, that, is that in the, that is in the book? No, that, that was even, I, I didn't even put that one in the book. I did that one before. That one even you can, Hear that one on the, on the YouTube and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. make sure well people will be able to hear it now on Onyx. Absolutely. Because uh, it, it's going to be out there. Yes. You know? Oh and, uh, my gosh, that was great. What, what, what we're going to do now? Yeah. Is um, is finish off. Oh, lovely. And I'm just going to say, lovely. anybody who wants any of these books on the table here, um, Third Eye Open by Rakim and my books herbie writes again looking out at the world through poetry poem lyrics and thoughts 